Well, if you've been dying to get your hands on the new Blackberry, the wait is over. AT&T is selling the newly redesigned Z10 today. And Kansas City tech blogger and regular guest Ramsey Mosin got to take one for a test drive, and he's here this morning uh, with a review. Yes. So what'd you think? So yes, this is the new Black Blackberry Z10, um, and it's a big deal because Blackberry is putting a lot into this to perhaps redefine the company. Mm -hmm. I think several years ago, people knew them to be the email tried and true device. Right. Uh, everyone in sort of a corporate setting would, would, would use them. So this is the new phone. It's called the Z10. It looks a lot like the iPhone. That's probably not a mistake. Right. <laughs> um, and it's very gesture based. I think the first thing you notice, I've been using it for the past week, everything that um, you, you do to navigate the phone requires your finger and touch. Uh, and that sort of thing. So if you want to go back to the main menu, for example, you swipe like that. There's no home button like the mm. iPhone. Now, one of the things I thought was really fun and, and it's sort of unique um, in comparison to other phones is the camera. And so we'll take a picture of you real quick and I want to show okay. you time shift. How about this? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so here's what happens with time shift. Instead of just taking one picture, if you drag this bar right here, it actually allows you to choose the frame of the shot. Wow that was the, the the best shot. So let's say we want to get that one. We hit the checkbox there and, and you're all set. So that's pretty cool. Time shift mm -hmm. is a really unique feature. They did try one thing that is different than other uh, phones like Android and iOS, where they've consolidated all of your messages in what's called the BlackBerry Hub. Mm -hmm. So if you get a Facebook message or an email or a tweet, it all is in one long sort of laundry list of messages. And that way you don't have to jump into different apps uh, and that sort of thing. Well, that seems really, really cool. I found in the past week in using this, um, sometimes it's a bit cumbersome to have everything in one place. You kind of like right. keep separate inboxes. But you know, overall, it's actually a pretty impressive phone for BlackBerry. Is it better than Android and iOS? I'm not mm. sure. It is a step in the right direction. Uh, for the past week, I've enjoyed using it. There are times that apps have crashed, so, so it's not quite as stable as perhaps it needs to be just yet, but definitely a step in the right direction for BlackBerry. Okay, so let's put it out there. Thumbs up or thumbs down from you? Well, I would say thumbs up if you're a BlackBerry fan and mm -hmm. you like the BlackBerry apps, but probably a thumbs down if you're an iPhone fan or an Android fan. Is, uh, you're probably not going to want to drop those phones just yet. All right. Ramsey Molson, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Wow.